Hello and welcome to this first tutorial on Python. Now once you've installed Python you'll have the idle editor which you can open and use to make some code. So if you open it up you'll see first that this window appears. Now this is the shell. This is where you see your programs running and you can also use it for typing single lines of code. So I'm going to first show you how to print a text message to the screen. We do this simply by typing in the print command it's all lowercase, no capitals there. Open up a bracket, open up a speech mark, and now we can type a message. So, hello everyone. Put in another speech mark, another bracket. Now that's vital. In Python, if you open a bracket, you have to close it. And if you open a speech mark, you also have to close it. And any text you want to print always has to be between the two speech marks. And also within the two brackets. Now to run this line of code, I simply have to press enter, and as you can see, it prints my message. Perfect. But what if I want to write more than one line of code? To do this, we'll have to open a new window. We do this by pressing file and new window. And as you can see, this new window appears. Now what we can do is we can write our code in again. So print, open the bracket, open the speech marks, hello, put all this time, close the speech mark, close the bracket. Now, what we can do now, we can actually save this code so we can run it again a future time, and we can also add many more lines of code than just one, so it gives us the ability to write longer, more complicated programs. Now, this time to run the code, you can either left-click on the Run button here and click on Run Module, or you can simply press F5. So if I do that now, you have to save it, so I'll just call this hello dot py, that's the file extension you need for Python programs. Save it, gonna replace it. And as you can see it works perfectly. We got hello all printing to the screen. Now obviously you can change within the actual speech marks in your program, you can change that to whatever text you want. And I'll just show you that quickly. Hello all, how are you today? question mark. There we go, let's just put a little bit of comma in there. If I run that again, you'll see that the text changes. There we go. Hello all, how are you today? What I'd like you to do is have a play with this, try getting some text printing to the screen, and then in the next tutorial I'll show you how to make a variable and then print the contents of it, which will then allow you to start making more complicated programs. Hope you enjoyed this first tutorial in Python, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.